Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. We're in our greenhouse. Just checking some things out. And, uh, yeah, we need some water. So there we go. I hired a worker this morning, like I do most mornings. He's down here plowing this field right there. Uh, today, though, we're going to be spreading some cow slurry. At least that's the plan, anyways. Um, 22,000 in stock. And I do believe our tanker is full. I have to go over and grab our big modern tractor because that's probably the one I should use. Uh, the ducks and geese. Well, the eggs are there. Uh, what happens to the eggs after on? I have no idea. Uh, looks like the wife is already cooking. James and Rex are just hanging out together. The wife was cooking when I went to bed. And I'm just going to keep going down here and checking this out. Um, enter for pantry. Yeah, 40 and 38 eggs. Uh, so I got melons in here. I don't know if you need to have melons and apples in here for to get pies. I have no idea. Um, I really don't know what she's doing as a stove cooking that long. I just, yeah, whatever. She's doing what she's doing. And we got food. Uh, as long as I got tomatoes and, and canned Italian tomato soup, then we are fine. Let's not get our feet wet. There we go. So I'm not going to plow this field today. I actually want to mix up by doing some slurry spreading. Maybe some fertilizing spreading as well. Let's head on over and grab one of our sprayers. I don't know if they both got fertilizer in there. Or is it just one? I don't know. Because I don't remember. I know one of them is full. That's all I know. See if I get close enough. Um, not going to tell me to hook up. All right. Well, that's got 1800 in it. So I'm going to come on down over here out behind John's store. Those are the fields that we're going to start with anyways. I don't know how far we'll get with the slurry that we have. Actually, I'll probably start with the smallest uh, field that we have. Just to get one done. In a short period of time. John uh, never likes taking care of his barrel. I know that much. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get that field done today. Uh, there's that one hectare field over there. And the one across the river right over there. I think we can get all three done with the amount of slurry that we have. Alright. Let's turn it on. Hit the cruise control. Ah, waking up to the smell of slurry being spread next to your house. That must be wonderful for these people living over here. 7 o'clock in the morning, they're like, oh, they're, oh, we got mice in the pantry again. But imagine waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning having this smell outside your bedroom window. It's actually a smell that doesn't bother me too much. I'm so used to it, though, from growing up. Get so used to smelling that, it doesn't bother me at all. Let's go. Yep. Farmers are working. Just like we are. We are working. So, like I said, just uh, like to get like 90% coverage. And I consider that good enough. Try to use as much slurry as we can so we don't have to use fur X. Although... 
I don't really don't know what the cost difference is. I have I don't think I ever looked at the cost difference. When Fur X came out, you know, I had plenty of money anyway, so I was like, yeah, whatever. And just like that, one field is done. Uh, no really good jobs today. 98% covered. That's, uh, for me, that's pretty darn good. Those two fields over there, we did a while ago. Let's see, how much I got left in the tank? I'm too far away from the tank. I always could not understand that. Uh, 1,300 left in the tank, so we didn't use that much. So we should be able to get all three of these fields done. Done, did it undone. I probably should check on the flowers as well, just to, you know, I don't know when the wife will actually water them. Um, if you remember when we planted them, they were very wet, and last time I looked, I think they were just wet. But then again, it hasn't been that many days. I'm just curious when the wife will water them, if she actually will. But we're getting all of our fields prepped up for September. I know it sounds kind of weird saying that when it's only April, but that's kind of what we're doing. During the regular season, uh, when I call it regular season, trying to get three harvests done in a season, I would have fields already reseeded and uh, making sure they're ready to go for the June harvest. Yeah, but now we're just going to take it easy. As easy as we can. Remember the first couple seasons we would, you know, get right up and get to work and work until like 10 o'clock at night. Now it's like, hey, you know what, it's past noon. It's good enough. <laughs> I don't know if they widen the working width of this machine, but it seems like I'm covering more of an area than I'm used to covering. Or maybe it's a big modern tractor that's you know has no problem pulling it, so I'm gaining speed faster, so I'm covering the areas faster, if that makes any sense. I mean, I'm zipping through these fields faster than I thought. Turn it off. Off. There we go. 96% uh, done. All right, big modern tractor, you're you're a big modern tractor, and this river is not that deep, so we're just gonna dip right down through it. Um, yeah, I, I'll just keep on going until I actually see the slurry stop coming out the back. It's kind of weird that when you get too far out, you can't see exactly how much is in the tank, but it's all good. See how much of the, this field we can get done. This field here is kind of oddly shaped, so it's hard to get all the corners. So we'll just do the best we can. And if I need to, when we get done, we'll cover up the bare spots. But from what I'm seeing, I think we'll get in the 90 percentile easily. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of sticking with a plan of not not really seeding many fields until the fall season comes and then of course it'll be all canola with the exception of maybe one field of wheat so I can have some straw at the beginning of the season to feed the cows uh, but I may not even have to do that because we have that barley field in the 7.55 hectare size field so we're going to get plenty of straw off of that and unless they change how much food the cows consume, I think the cows are good for like a year and a half if you top them off. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Wow, we are actually covering more than I thought it would for just one tank. I'm just about done here. Either I haven't done this in a while, or 
they changed of how the slurry is being spread because yeah, I'm not going through as much as I remember going through on a tank. I mean, here we are, all three fields just about done. And I have yet to have to refill? That seems weird to me. Alright, so this field here, 96% done. Um, Alright. Let's, uh, how much do I got left in the tank? Not much. I got a thousand. So, uh, since we zipped through that, I mean, that took like an hour and a half of in-game time. Uh, let's go top off this tank and we'll head up by Oliver's and get the fields done that we cultivated the other day. Yeah, I did not expect to get those three fields done that fast. I think it's the big, I'm going to say it's the big modern tractor. I think that's how I was getting hungry, but I have yet to have breakfast this morning, so maybe that's, maybe that's a good reason here. Cows seem happy. Actually, while I'm here, we'll get out uh, and get confused which way I'm facing. Well, the eggs are still there, uh, but it's not 9 o'clock yet, so... It, I guess it's usually 9 o'clock. I think I've been told by a couple people it's like 9 o'clock is when the wife will make her rounds. And we got to make sure that we're not near the farm at 9 o'clock because then she won't collect. Apparently. Now I think this field up here, we already did. Famous last words, I think. Let's see, as we enter the field, yeah, this has manure on it. Yeah, so at some point, i got to put the fertilizer spreader on the back and do the fields that we've been spraying to make sure we get double stages of fertilization down. This town's going to smell good for the next day. Just saying. get this field done in a hurry and uh, the other field as well and then I think what we'll do is I think we got our tractor over here we'll go ahead and cultivate the field right there right where our tractor is parked right where I left it the people in this town are so nice they don't bother taking your equipment and have a joy rides with it I'm actually probably wasting some manure by uh, overspraying or overlapping too much, but I'd rather overlap a little bit than have a big gap down the seam because that would just drive me nuts. There we go. 99%. Wow, I'm doing fantastic today. He says before he screws up the last field he does. And see if I can make some quick work of this field and we'll get right to cultivating. And that's pretty much what I had planned for today, but uh, <laughs> I I already got more fields fertilized than I thought it would. Which is good for us because the cows are not making enough slurry for me to do all the fields. 
I think I even spread some slurry up in those northeastern fields. I can't remember if I have or haven't. It's been so long now. Luckily, you can just click on the map and uh, scroll over a field and find out. The container is empty. Ah, uh, I'm out? That seems weird. So I did the other three fields and did not run out. I came up here, did that small field and made one loop around this one and I'm empty? You know what? You know what may have happened? Uh, I'm so used to farming simulator. When I got out of the tractor, does that stop filling the tank? Hmm, I may not I may, I may not have come up with a full tank. That might be the reason. So we had what, twenty two thousand liters in storage of slurry when I uh when I checked this morning, so I'll have to see when I get back down there. Yeah, in farming simulator you can kinda refill like your seed drill or whatever and get out of the tractor and it'll still keep filling up. So I'm not sure uh bacon for dinner. Um, I'm not sure about Farmer's Dynasty. I'm pretty sure I, that must be what happened. Alright, so if I come on down here. Engineering site here. Yeah, that's what happened. Because I hardly took anything out of storage. Alright, so it's filling up. If I get out... Yeah, if I get out, it stops filling. Then the second I got back in, it starts filling. Alright, that makes more sense. I was like, oh no, am I going to have to do another test? Because <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. Uh, I think we're going to take everything that's in storage. I think the cows do produce 2,000 kilograms per day. I know I probably keep saying liters. So I don't have a full tank now, but I should have enough to finish that one field. As we make our way back up to, oh crap, the game crashed and I have not saved nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, Farmer's Dynasty, please fix the game crashing. Well, this is kind of where we left off. Uh, I have gotten... I, I've retraced all my steps. Did the greenhouse, uh, manured the other three fields, refilled this, got the field across the way all taken care of, did hire the worker to plow that field again. Um, I mean, that could be what caused the game to crash. The worker could have finished, and when he despawned, that could be what caused the game to crash. Uh, sometimes hiring workers and workers just spawning is what's causing it, I think. And then again, I really don't know, but uh, I have saved the game a few times. Because uh, now, you know, when it happens to you, you get paranoid, so you save it like every 30 seconds. But luckily it hasn't taken me too long to get back here, because, I mean, you saw me fertilize those fields earlier. It didn't take too long. I should have enough in this tank, because this time I came up here with a full tank instead of like a half a tank like I did last time so yeah I didn't get out of the tractor when I was refuel uh yeah refueling it refilling it so I should have enough in here to get this field done and then when I get done I'm going to save the game and then maybe we'll start to cultivate yeah, it's always fun doing jobs twice I understand it if you screwed up and you got to do it over again, but uh, nothing worse when you did a really good job. And someone says, nope, do it again. Do it again, you failure. No, uh, so here we are doing it again because we have to. All right.
turn that off. 98% done. That is good. Let's go in here and, uh, yeah, like I said, I've been saving it like every 30 seconds. <clears throat> Pardon me there. Had a little bit of a cough. All right, let's hop in this guy. Game saved. Uh, is our worker still going is the question. Um, he is, or she is, 69% done. Uh, am I connected? No, I am not. We now are. Um, do I need to eat? No. Okay. Nope, nope. Lower first. And then start the cruise. So this is what, a 2.08? Am I close? No, 1.93. Alright, well. I try to always remember the size of the fields. And I used to be able to remember when I had only like a dozen fields. I'm like, oh, this field's this size, this field's that size. Now I, I really don't have a clue anymore. But this is uh, this is the field that got plowed last episode by a worker. And now we're up here to cultivate it. So that way, in a day or so, we can go ahead and fertilize this one as well. Oh, I don't have no one plowing this field over here. And I got that field there as well. I thought those these fields were plowed. Well, okay, so right across from me, this field, I thought this field was plowed. We'll be in a while. It's only my second worker, so that's as many as I want to hire at this point. I don't mind plowing, but now I'm just trying to get some fields done because I kind of want to skip some time to the fall. I don't want the season to, you know, linger on too long. It w would be nice to get to a point in the game where I have some fields ready for harvest. That way, if Farmer's Dynasty comes with an update, you know, who knows, they may come out with a new harvester or something. Who knows what they come out with. I I'd like to be able to try it. But as for today, this is going to be our last job for the day. No social jobs today because, like I said, um, what, there was three jobs. One was a transport. There is a fix-a-building job. And another one wants me to plow a field. And that was way over on the east side. I'm like, hmm. Well, way up in the northeast. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going that far. Which is kind of weird to say that because I, you know, when I thought that, so I'm not going that far. I don't want to do fields around my farm. And then I realized, um, hello, you own all the fields by your farm. So, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing around the farm really to do. Like I said last last episode, I'd like cultivating for some reason. Don't know why. But if you're looking for something to cultivate your fields. I'm your guy. I can't squeeze through there. Apparently not. My tractor can go through, but not the cultivator. Alright. Let's not damage my cultivator. Because I, I don't know what I would do, because I only have like three or four more left. And I said it before, I would really love it if we could hook up the seed roll to this cultivator. But I'm, I'm guessing maybe they tried it and maybe it was too much for the tractor to handle. I don't know. Since we don't have no front weights on, on here yet. I'm still waiting for us to be able to hook up things to the front three-point linkage, but... I guess the only thing that I would hook to the front at this point would be... The mower, I suppose. And if you want to get real creative, I guess you could put the... Fertilizer sprayer on the front and the manure sprayer on the back and get both stages of fertilization done in one one go around 
except the working widths are going to be different. So the first worker we hired this morning has completed his task. Uh, that guy is actually moving along pretty well. He's like 70% done over there. And we are just about done here. Cultivating this field. And I think I'll leave my tractors up here. I'll Next day is uh, we'll fertilize this field. And then just move right along. Cultivate the field that guy's plowing over there. It's kind of my plan. If I can stick to my plans, I'm, you know, it's always a question mark on that. I probably also should mention, if you've had this game on your wish list for a while, as you know, Steam has its summer sale going on. This game is currently on sale. Uh, I do believe I put it in the comments below on Friday's episode after I saw it was on sale, but it's 34% off, which brings it down to just under 20 US dollars. So if you've been looking to get the game, and thinking, well, wait, wait for the price to drop or more content to come out. Uh, $20 is, I think, what the game should be going for, in my opinion. But, uh, <laughs> that's just me. Uh, yeah, $20, I think, is a good asking price for what we have for content right now. But, uh, yeah, for, it's still only for PC only. I know we had this discussion a while ago about when it was going to come out for console and the devs said late first quarter, early second quarter of 2019. Yep. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, yeah, I don't know when, when they expect this to come out for console. Do not know that at all. Uh, I would guess not for a while because unless the next patch has a lot of bug fixes in it. Yeah, I don't know. But then again, I say things about this game the way it's going to go and then an update comes out and I'm completely wrong. Um, I don't think that water's that deep, is it? Nah, it's not that deep. Not that deep at all. Although maybe my tractor swerved to the right. Alright, so we'll park you over here. I would say keep it off the path, but, uh, you know, no one really uses this path at all. So he's 88% done. That's good news. Um, let's just teleport back to our farm. Hop into the wife's tractor. She's outside. Feeding the chickens, I would assume. Don't know. Um, let's see. <gasps> the flowers grew today. I don't remember them being... Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, once the flowers come up, we'll start getting social points. Woohoo! Um, exciting times. I want to come over here. Let's see if the ducks and geese... Or, I mean, I'll leave the door open for them to come out. While well, the eggs are missing. I'm just curious. I'm going to run down here. So I end up with uh, 6,000 liters left inside our storage this time. I'm just trying to see if the ducks and geese glitch out where they're in both locations at the same time, but nope, not so much. All right, so the ducks and geese eggs are, like I said, are missing. Uh, Ronnie the rooster hasn't been out to play for a while. Uh, I'll go down the pantry. Still waiting for my first melon pie, darling. Uh, so 38 and 40 eggs, respectively. My wife's doing a lot of cooking, but I'm not seeing much being done in here. Just saying. I am just saying. Um, I don't know. When our greenhouses uh, have more material in it, we'll put more in here. I mean, we can fit more in the pantry because you can see this down arrow. You can actually scroll more. Uh, so I'm, I'm not really sure what, what my Maybe the mouse is eating them. I have no idea. It just doesn't seem like she's cooking that much anymore even though she's cooking if that makes any sense uh, Rex is already going down to the fire pit because he wants to call it a day and after having a slurry spray uh, slurry spray the fields a couple times I'm ready to call it a day uh, let's sit over here today but that is going to do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode I do appreciate you watching as always and I'll catch you next time on the day on the farm 
But until then, have a good one.